Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, let's get acquainted with Western Armenia, Bagash province, problems and the Caucasus regions, opportunities and challenges. A conference was held in Stepanakert. The United States warns about tensions of the Armenian border, the coldest spring in the last 30 years in Western Armenia. The year of challenge will be rich in diverse initiatives dedicated to the great writer. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. Bagash province of Western Armenia covers the northern eastern parts of Ardnik to Ruberan. In the 16th to 19th centuries, there were Kurdish semi-independent principalities, North Caucasus, the most powerful of which was the Bitlis Khante. Famous peaks are Nemrud, Marutasar, Andok, Simsar and Havatang. The rivers are Atzania and Tigris flow. The province is rich in iron, gold, silver, copper and coal. On the eve of the First World War, about 500,000 people lived here. In 1882, 250,000 Armenians lived, the number of which decreased significantly due to the massacre of Armenians in 1895, in 1896 and their subsequent immigration. However, in 1914, about 240,000 Armenians lived in Bagash province. Armenians and Esrans were massacred by Turkey during the genocide of Armenian people in 1915. In 1927, several hundred Armenians still remained. Mesrop Mashtot University in Stepanakert hosted a conference entitled Current Problems and Caucasus Region, Opportunities and Challenges. It was organized jointly by the Center for Expert Assistance of Southern Ossetia and Center of International Studies of the Caucasian of the Russian Federation. According to the Vice Rector of the University, Alice Bagdasarian, the conference will give an opportunity to representatives of various scientific structures in addition to participation to bring their programs to the events taking place in the region. Historia Meher Harutunyan said during the conversation that a conference is aimed at continuing all the encroachments carried out by the propaganda machine of the relevant structures of Azerbaijan and Turkey. The statement of the U.S. mission of the OSCE says that the tragic death of Armenian soldier Rajman Asaryan on March 7 underlined the need to restrain and a search for a comprehensive solution to all existing problems through active diplomatic cooperation. We call on the parties to make progress on humanitarian issues, such as the release of all captives, the exchange of information to determine the fate of the missing and humanitarian demining. The statement said, this sounds like a warning against the background of the recent exclination in Geras and Artsakh. One of the guarantees of protection may be the movement of international organizations such as the UN and the OSCE. According to the latest estimates in my main department of meteorology, the weather in Western Armenia in the first day of spring is not spring at all. Low temperatures are observed almost everywhere. Rain is expected in almost all regions of the country. Precipitation will be especially heavy in Kastatnapol, Mush and Bagesh. There is a danger of avalanches in the highlands as well as the eastern regions of the country. With the exception of the shores of Mediterranean Sea, coldness is expected throughout our country. Various events dedicated to the 125th anniversary of the great Armenian writer Yerusha Charent will be organized not only on his birthday, March 13, but also throughout the year. Book presentation exhibition and presentation of the commemorative medal Yerusha Charent, 125th. The premiere of opera performances and initiatives are planned. Events will be also organized at the Charent School. An exclusive exhibition will open at the Union of Artists of Armenia on March 13. Dear compatriots, the state television company of Western Armenia is not engaged in advertising. Our work is aimed at preserving and developing ties between our compatriots and the motherland. At this historic stage, we are all obliged to support our national demands in order to face together the challenges we face and achieve the establishment of our joint rights, which unfortunately are ignored in modern international relations. Our struggle lasts a long time, but victory is unavoidable. Western Armenia hopes for your active support on these difficult parts. Together we can do more. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song.
The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.